In another video we talked about the FRS channels 1 through 14 and this video we're going to talk about channels 15 through 21 and also the repeater channels for GMRS. So referring to the chart I made for channels versus power for FRS and GMRS we're going to zoom down to the lower half of the sheet and you'll see that channels 15 through 22 on FRS can transmit at 2 watts ERP effective radiated power that's out of the antenna and simplex only and that the repeater channels the ones 467.550 and on uh, are not used by FRS at all the top frequencies, the one starting with 462 dot, are used for simplex in GMRS and FRS, uh, and they're also used for repeater output on GMRS. The channels starting with 467 are used on repeater inputs and can also be used for fixed station communication. The 462 to 467 is a 5 megahertz split which makes it convenient for operating repeaters without having to have a large duplexer. When using repeaters we often refer to them with the digits after the decimal point. So the 625 repeater would be the repeater equivalent to channel 18. These main channels have a maximum power output of 50 watts. Now this is transmitter power output, so it's the power going into the antenna. And since you can use higher gain antennas, your effective radiator power can be more than 50 watts. There is a 15 watt TPO limit for fixed stations. And fixed stations probably aren't what you think they are. And you probably aren't using your station as a fixed station. I will make a video on this later. So the way you're going to use your radio, you are limited to 50 watts, not 15. There is an exception on your license that you need to check if you live within 110 miles of the Canadian border. These are called line A and line C. And I have another video on how to see if you're within those lines. If you are, then you cannot transmit on channel 19 or 21. 